Hi friends, look what FedEx brought me today. Today we're going to talk about a light bar for my Jeep. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Let's see what we got. Thank you for purchasing Oxbeam Light the Way. Oh, nicely packaged. Hmm. Oxbeam. You put that on the window of your Jeep, I guess. A little uh, instruction manual. How to do the nuts and bolts. Mounting instructions. Thank you for purchasing Oxbeam LED light bar. Oxbeam light bar comes with a mounting bracket. There are two ways of mounting it. Side or bottom mount is included in the package. Installation is fairly simple if following the steps in these instructions. Okay. Oh, here's the mounting brackets. Three of them. Oh. oh wow, it's pretty. So this particular model is called a side shooter because it's got LEDs on the ends so that it not only lights up the road ahead, but also off in the ditch, both ways. Those are nuts that are sliding back and forth in the mounting bracket grooves. Uh, the ditch. Do you know what they call the ditch in Montana? <laughs> they call it the borrow pit because they borrow the dirt to make the road, the borrow pit. Anyway, if you're in Montana, this thing's going to light up the borrow pits on both sides of the car also. Well, this should be a fairly simple review. I'll uh, install it on my Jeep. We'll wait till dark, and we'll go for a drive. It either lights up the road or it doesn't. Well... I got it mounted, and I think it's going to work really well where it's at. Now, I have some extra stuff on the front of my Jeep because, as you know, I tow it with the motorhome. But the mounting uh, bracket thingies are versatile enough that it was very easy for me to just mount it to my tow bar there. And, of course, tow bar already has electricity, so it was an easy hookup to get some power right there for me. Um... But it wouldn't be too difficult anyways. Run a wire up here to the battery. Inside, for the switch, um, I discovered in doing this that this Jeep is really easy to get in underneath the dash. You just pull it down like that and it snaps right back up. Anyway, the other part was running the wire up to this here and this just pulls off also. So I was able to very easily just mount the switch right there. We just have to wait till that big yellow ball in the sky gets way over there behind those mountains. And then it'll be dark. Okay. So here's the test. These are my bright lights on my Jeep. These are my low beams on my Jeep. These are the driving lights on my Jeep. So now I'm going to shut them off. All of them. And now I'm 
we're going to turn on the new aux beam lights. Holy moly. Amazing. Look at that. Oh my, look at the sides. Now, I'm, uh, so my lights, your face is so bright now, like before when those other lights were on, I couldn't see you at all. The lights are on and uh, I mean, I mean the lights in my car are off. My car lights are off. Now I'm turning on my other lights. So and you can't even tell I turned on my lights. No. Now I'm going to turn on my driving lights. A little bit. Yeah, you can see that a little bit. Got a little yellower. A little yellower on the edges. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to turn, so I have... No lights on, on my car. This is the Hox Beam side shooter only. No headlights. Stay on target. Stay on target. You know what movie that's from? No. That's when Luke Skywalker was flying into the... the uh, Oh, Death Luke, Star. Luke Skywalker. Yeah, that's what it looked oh, like down, when we were coming that, through the fence. Down that trench? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to turn on my bright lights. You can barely tell I turned on my bright lights. Turn this one off. Huh? Turn oh, this one I'm off. Turn this See one what off. this road looks like. There. Oh. Okay. The, the periphery is amazing when you make that change. The, you mean the side, out the side, mm -hmm. because it's the side shooter light. Yeah. Look at this. This is... Wow. It's amazing. Okay, right there, my high beams are hitting the hill over there. But I'm going to turn them off. There, my lights are off. It, it made very little difference. We'll turn off the aux beam and... <laughs> of course, that makes a difference. There's low beams, driving lights. That's the best I can do. Now flip it. And this is the aux beam side shooter. It, it, it's so amazing what it does to the amount of visibility near the car and to the sides. Yeah. Well, and for for our purposes, you know, driving the off-road roads at night looking for bugs. Yeah, or any kind of critters. Oh, just yeah, or whatever. Seeing, seeing things. But just for off-roading, if mm -hmm. you happen to be going at night. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... It's helpful to see that it's a bump here. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with the that off, you know, I can still navigate, but yeah. it's certainly not as good. Well, uh, that's the test. Night and day difference. Night, night and day difference. There, <laughs> there's no better way to put it. Were you and, trying not to say it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I said, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, test. Either it lights up the night or it doesn't. And it certainly does. Morning, friends. We like this aux beam side shooter so much that we put another one on my son's car. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link to that particular model, the 32 inch aux beam side shooter down here in the video description. And if on their website, you use my discount code JCTS, JC Travel Stories, JCTS, you'll get a 12% discount. Thanks for watching. I can't recommend this enough if you do any night driving. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.